In today's video, I'm going to share how to line a crochet bag in a few simple steps. I'll be showing how to line this crochet backpack, but you can apply these same steps to whatever project you're working on. I'm actually on vacation as I film this, so I'm going to be showing how to do this without a sewing machine, just using a needle and thread. And if you're interested in a completely no sew technique, you can find that at the end of the video. For your liner, I would recommend a cotton fabric. I grabbed these pre-cut swatches from my local Walmart, which is really convenient because they have the measurements on the label. If you're wanting to buy something that's on a roll, then I would suggest that you ask for one yard of fabric. That will be more than enough fabric, even if you're working on a bigger bag. But any cotton fabric will do. You can even practice on a sheet or a pillowcase. Otherwise, all you'll need is a needle, some all-purpose thread, pins, scissors, and an iron comes in really handy, but it's not necessary. Before I get started, I do like to run an iron over the fabric just to minimize the wrinkles so it's easier to see where to cut. Next, grab your bag and place it on top of the fabric. Quick tip here, place the base of your bag near the fold of your fabric. That'll save you on seaming on one of the sides. And now we're going to cut around the bag just following the shape of it. You want to give yourself about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. This gives you some room for error. If you don't feel comfortable going right into cutting, you can take a pencil and draw around your bag if you like. I forgot to grab one, so I just freestyled it with my crappy scissors. You're going to see a lot of jagged lines as I cut. But it really doesn't matter. No one's going to see this when it's all finished and it's still going to be beautiful. And once you're finished with your cutting, it's time to pin the sides together and get ready for seaming. I like to place the pins in line with where I want to add a stitch. Again, you can add a pencil line here if you like, just to help. But we're just aiming to pin around an eighth to a quarter of an inch in. You want to make sure that you don't go too close to the edge, just to avoid holes in your liner. For sewing, I like to use two strands of thread, so I just do a double length, thread that through the needle, and then just tie the two ends together with a knot. For me, this just makes it a lot stronger. I'm using a very simple running stitch for this. I begin by coming through the fabric and repeating a couple of times just to make the joins strong, going back and forth in the same spot before I move along. To do a running stitch, just pass the needle in and out of the fabric at a regular distance. The shorter the distance, the better, because you don't want to create a big gap, but you also don't have to be super tight with this either. Quick tip here, be aware not to pull too tight on your thread, otherwise it's going to gather the fabric. Every now and again, just pull on that fabric to straighten it back out. Usually I just go all the way through and then back through from the back, but you can gather the fabric and just do it from the top but I do find that I have more control with the spacing if I just continue to go in and out of the fabric. When I get to the end, I go back and forth in the same spot again to make sure it's not going to come out. You can do a little knot here as well by just working into the loop of thread. Then clip your yarn and repeat on the next side. Before we attach, we need to make the top edge really pretty. I find that an iron works great for this, but if you don't have one nearby, you can just fold it and hold it in place with a pin as you're attaching to the bag. I like to take the top and fold it twice to hide that raw edge and then iron it down. If that's too fiddly for you, you can just fold once. No one will see it. Everything is going to be hidden once it's stitched in place. Then it's time to place your liner into the bag. For my liner, I attached it quite low because I didn't want it to affect the strap area when it gets cinched together. But this is a personal preference. For your bag, you might want to get very close to the edge of your opening. It's really up to you. I like to line up the side seams first and pin those into place. I just take the center of the side of the crochet and line up the seam to that. 
And then I do the same thing with the front and the back of the bag, just centering the liner with the center of the bag. Once I have those four in place, it's really easy to pin the rest of the liner to the bag. To attach, I'm just using a basic running stitch again for simplicity's sake, but there are a variety of different stitches that you can use. I just find that this one is really fast and easy. I'm making sure to catch a bit of the yarn as I go, but not actually going all the way through to the other side. Be sure to double check every now and again, just to make sure that the yarn is catching. You will get a feel for this very quickly. And by the way, if you want to use a sewing machine to attach, you can. You might have to raise your zipper foot up a little bit depending on your yarn weight, but it will work. And that's all there is to it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, I know some of you might be wondering if you can do a lining without any sewing at all, and yes, you can. If you do decide to do this, I would recommend that you get a glue that comes in strips like this rather than the fabric glue. You will need to use an iron for this, but in my opinion, it gives a better finish and a better join rather than the liquid glues. You can attach this to your crochet as well, but it's very, very important that you use a cotton yarn if you decide to do this. Acrylic will melt and wool will get scorched. So please, please only use a cotton yarn if you're going to work with an iron. Just use the steps that you've seen in the video, but really a needle and thread will give you a lovely finish and will be just as fast as if you try to use this glue. I hope this tutorial helped in some way. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.